number of books and also number of articles in both national and international journals. And Sar is also very active in uh, extra curriculum. He is also very active. He is also known for supporting the university with various capacity. He really served as a registrar of Central Minister of Karnataka and currently is working as a dean, dean of student welfare of uh, Molana National University. I am extremely thankful to you, sir, for accepting our request. Now I request you to deliver your talk, sir. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It's my pleasure to be Yes, sir. No, sir. Please go ahead, sir. Thank you, sir. It's Attend, my sir. pleasure to be associated with a program of uh, University of Hyderabad, Madan Mohan Malviya Teachers Training Center. Uh, we have been frequently visiting University of Hyderabad for various purposes. And recently, I had an interaction at uh, University of Hyderabad with uh, teachers of degree colleges uh, from Andhra Pradesh. Uh, today, I am going to talk about information communication technology, which is uh, an important aspect. And all teachers are supposed to know uh, about this information communication technology. Uh, while presenting my lecture, probably I will be interacting with you, asking questions, giving you some activities. Because, um, Nagaraj sir, how is the procedure? This is a three-hour a program? Yes. Nagaraju, sir? Sir, one and a half program, sir. Sir, sir, is one and a half hour program, sir. One and a half hour. Sir, one, one, one and a half Okay, right, right, sir. Right. So, accordingly, I will... Uh, just... One more study, sir, no problem. Yeah. Please, sir. Uh, so, uh, I'll be making a presentation. I thought it is a three hours program, so I had uh, kept some activities also. I'll try to complete a few uh, presentation slides, and thereafter, I will uh, try to take you uh, directly to a few websites where you can be given some hands-on experiences. Since the program is related to uh, nas uh, National Education Policy 2020, I would like to brief you regarding National Education Policy 2020 as well. Okay, uh, that will be a good thing that uh, we will be uh, presenting you all these things. Yeah. I'll present my uh, slide. I hope this is visible. Uh, information communication technology in teaching learning in the context of NEP 2020. Uh, few things we will try to know about ICT, few things about teaching learning, a uh, few aspects what NEP tells about ICT or technology. Then a couple of activities, if time permits. Uh, let me take you to a slide uh, where I am giving, asking you to join me on Mentimeter. Join me on Mentimeter.com. Use this code. I am asking you a question. What do you expect to learn during this training? What is your expectation? Very quickly. Log into Mentimeter.com. What do you expect to learn? Yeah. Are you able to follow? Any one participant can respond to me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir yes, can sir. you repeat the code again? Mentimeter.com. I will give you the code. Use the code two one double five two three four one. Two one double five two three four one.
Yeah. Did you log in? Did you give your observations? dot com then go to uh, uh, put the code to double one two one double five two three four one or you can scan the QR code using your mobile if you are uh, logging to computer, then you can. So now I am facing a question that what do you do you expect to learn during this training? Uh, yeah, uh, now uh, see uh, around five answer responses have come. Understand the specifics of NEP in assisting better what is NEP and the how. Different from earlier. By the way, I want to know about you all. Uh, around uh, 100 participants are there. So I just want to know from you all. Um, from which city you are logged in? You are joined in for this program. Since all of yes. us are from different places, I for, this, what you have to, for this, what you have to do is you either scan this code or go to codeev.com slash mustak patel 357. This is given on the top. Just have a look. Join by the where I'm moving my cursor here. Polls, poll ed, poll ed dot com slash mustak patel 357. Be careful when you write about the spelling mustak patel. Uh, sir, is it possible to share it in the chat? Okay, I'll try. I'll try. Huh? Yeah. Uh, okay. Poll. Poll. TV. Dot com. Slash. Mushtaq. Hotel. 357, 357. Okay. It is safe. Kindly have a look of that. Okay. Uh, somebody Thank you, sir. from Patiola, somebody from Chennai. Uh, write only one word if you are writing Uttar Pradesh or Madhya Pradesh or Andhra Pradesh. Only one word you write. This is cloud. Here, word cloud is uh, being formed. Among the respondents, I see that there are many from Chennai till now. That is why Chennai is bigger in size. Then uh, Uttar, uh, maybe Uttar Pradesh also. Punjab, Moradabad, Tamil Nadu, few. <coughs> Moradabad, there are some more. Then Telangana. Rajasthan. Okay. Excuse me, sir. It is asking me the username and I am not able to. Uh, no, no username it. is required. No username is required. You can uh, log in as a guest. Okay. Let us go now. Uh, let us go to next because your uh, responses will keep coming. 
So let us not wait because around 100 people are there. We'll go to the next slide. Okay. I want to know you from you, what is ICT? Today we are going to discuss about ICT. So what is ICT? Before that, one question. Just now, uh, in the beginning, I asked you a question. And now uh, I asked you about one word to be given by you, name of the place which you belong to. I am asking you now, what is teaching and learning? What do you understand by teaching and learning? You can respond in a sentence also. Okay. In, no, not in the chat box. I am asking you to log into the same poll dot, uh, pollev.com slash Mushtaq Patel 357. Then only you can respond. Uh, if you are already logged in, only your slide will change. Automatically, you will come to this slide, which is visible on your screen. Okay. Uh, somebody is saying knowledge and skill. Okay. Uh, they are two sides of the same coin, teaching and learning, where knowledge and skills are interchanged. Teaching and learning is a process that includes many variables. These variables interact as learners work towards their goal and incorporate knowledge, behavior, and skill that add to their range of uh, learning experiences. Technology. Why I am asking you is... We are looking ICT in teaching and learning. For teaching also, ICT should be useful. For learning also, the ICT should be useful. So teaching and learning is an important theme of today's deliberation. That is why I'm asking you what is teaching and learning. Many of you are responding. Responses are continuously flowing in. Uh, this ensures me that you are participating in this. Okay, uh, now the process of transferring the knowledge and skill from teacher to students. Good, good. A uh, lot of uh, responses are there. So let us uh, move to next because we want to continue the presentation. Now, I am going to uh, talk about... Uh, it is taking some time. Slides are moving slowly. Uh, meanwhile, I'm also receiving your inputs. Inputs are continue, continuous. Okay. Uh, Excuse me, sir. How to join as a guest? I'm not able to do that. You are unable to do? Yes. Okay. Uh, did you go to the uh, go to your URL? Uh, on URL, you write uh, pollev.com slash Mushtaq Patel 357. You have written enter. Uh, guest name also may not be required, I think, directly. How you are logged in, all of you? Any guest name has been used by you all? Pardon, sir. I have no, sir, not needed. Not needed. Not, not required. required. Not required. Once, sir, can you repeat once, please? Polls madam. Poll, uh, I have given you the link. Copy that and put in your browser. Okay. First of all, I would uh, like to discuss with you why we need to know ICT in teaching and learning. Uh, because teaching and learning is the important profession uh, and, uh, which we are in. Uh, ICT is being made part of the teaching and learning process. Why? Because uh, you see increasing access uh, to ICT at educational institutions. Most of our educational institutions are having ICT access. Either computers are provided, LCDs are pro uh, provided, then whiteboards are provided. These facilities are being given to all the educational institutions. So that is why also, in addition to that, policies like national education policy is urging teachers to use ICT. Because, see, this uh, today's event also, we have joined together by use of ICT tool. 
may be your mobile may be your computer or may be your tablet you are using to join this program so that is why content is very much important in addition to content you have to use make use of ict also ict when we are making use of ict what generally most of us are doing is teaching and learning we are keeping at periphery at the and teaching and learning is revolving around information and communication technology if radio is there we are we are using radio for teaching if television is there we are using television for teaching this is how we are teaching uh, but this is not a correct thing ICT as the focal point and teaching learning strategies revolve around technology. Pedagogy becomes here a subservient to technology. Pedagogy is more important, not technology, which is not desirable. And in a reverse manner, national education is policy is talking. National education policy is saying that technology should be integrated, but pedagogy and content is also very much important. whereas digital technology is just for supporting traditional pedagogies now uh, my observation is that digital technologies have to be used but these should be used as a supporting aid or crutches or vehicle to achieve our objectives uh, what are ict components why ict is needed these things i have covered in this slide ICT covers any product that will store, retrieve, manipulate, transmit, and receive informations electronically in digital form. Computer, for example, it stores your information in the hard disk. Whenever you want, the information can be recollected. You can retrieve. You can add or delete some content. you can manipulate it you can share or transfer or transmit to others or you can receive from others that is why it is computer can be taken as an information communication tool similarly your mobile and many tools are there i'll be telling you information communication technology includes communication technology as well as information technologies what are the communication technologies communication technologies are satellite based communication and terrestrial based communication by using satellites we connect say for our example today we have joined using the communication wireless communication we get connected by using wired connect communication through our desktops through through our land land lines so terrestrial communication based communication will also be there satellite based communication will also be there information communication technology information technology when we talk most of us think that only computer or a mobile is information technology no it is not information technology includes your radio your television computer internet teleconferencing and mobile these are the components of information communication technology one is communication technology another is information technology both put together it is information communication technology what a need for ict in teaching learning why we need do we need uh, why is teacher not enough to teach in the classroom is uh, is he lacking something that is why ict has to be used or there is modernization that uh, that is why it has to be used what is the need of having information communication technology for teaching purposes uh, during the covid time you have used ict for diagnostic testing and remedial teaching using google forms you are collecting informations or testing the students development of of, of reasoning and thinking you are giving projects to students to develop their Uh, uh creative thinking or reason reasoning instructional material development when you are developing audio you are using from somewhere video you are collecting images you are collecting and you are developing instructional material you are evaluating using ict and you for psychological analysis of the learner also 
you can make use of ICT. This is why information communication technology is needed. Let us look into ICT tools. I have asked you a question which uh, is uh, asking you, do you have a smartphone at home? There are many responses which say, yes, yes, I have a smartphone. Yes, yes, yes. I'm giving different formats of questions so that you can understand what type of questions can be asked. This is another for activity where I have given a question. And most of you are saying that you are having a mobile. And some of you are also responding by giving a thumbs up. Like for example, uh, in this four thumbs up have been given. Here one, here one. So you can respond and you can ask the child to respond. Now I, that I am unable to see you in such a situation, this activity will ensure me that you are participating in the program. Okay. Let me go to next. It is taking time. Okay. Uh, I hope I am in the next slide because last time it had gone uh, far ahead. Yeah. I am in the next slide. Uh, I think this is visible on your uh, devices with the same address. What equipment you are using to attend, attend today's meeting? I am seeing that there are people who are attending using mobile. There are persons who are attending using laptop. There are persons who are also making use of what is that? Yeah. Uh, its uh, option is not visible to me. Uh, desktop. Okay, desktop, desktop. There are persons who are atten uh, attending today's meeting using mobile, laptop, desktop. This is the advantage for me to know which is the popular uh, instrument. I'm using different activities, you see. Sometimes I'm using bar graphs. Sometimes I'm giving you word cloud. Sometimes I'm giving... Uh, option to respond in a long answer. Sometimes I am giving option to give a thumbs up response. So these are the activities which you can utilize in your class also. Uh, some of you are also responding in the chat, but I am uh, in Google Meet. There is no option for me to look into the chat. Hence, I am just having a look of the screen uh, where you are responded. And most of you have responded that you are uh, attending the today's meeting using your laptop. And there are few who are attending uh, by using mobile as well as desktop. I hope, uh, yeah. Educational, uh, one minute, since it is taking time, so I have to jump here and there, okay. Now, uh, educational uses of computer. Uh, uh, see, uh, uh, the computer is useful in many ways. When we were first studying about computer, we thought it is uh, a computing machine. It can help us in calculation. That time, we never thought that computer will give uh, us newspaper. We never thought that computer will give us audio video programs. Just hold on for a moment. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience. I had some work here. Okay. So computer is useful for measurement of learning of the students. You can test the students. You can make use of computer for tutoring purposes. You can give exercises, mathematical exercises, or any other subject exercises. You can use computer as a calculator. You can make use of a computer uh, in the form of a laboratory. You can produce teaching learning materials. Uh, can yeah. Anybody wants to say something? Yeah, 
you can disseminate the material, you can share PDF files, you can share books, you can share audio, video material, archival of uh, material is possible. This is, computer has become a medium of expression. Okay, so computer is useful in many ways for uh, teaching learning purposes. Types of multimedia applications in education. When we look into this, we uh, see that there are talking books which are available. Uh, uh, this is one medium. Story books are available in CD forms. Computer simulation is one medium where, which can be used for educational purposes. Video and video discs can be used or hypermedia links can be used. These are the types of multimedia applications in education. Educational applications of the internet. When, uh, see, uh, de your desktop will no, uh, no uh, more remain only a desktop limited to your office. When it is connected to internet, it becomes useful for everybody. Easily you can contact with others. You can look into the encyclopedia. You can get the news. You can see uh, uh, school or college projects you can do. Online learning is possible. Multimedia is possible. Communication is possible. Learning from home, if using uh, internet is possible. Online discussion is possible using computer. This is why I have classified in today's presentation the ICT into two categories. One is hardware, another is software. Both put together becomes information communication technology tools which are useful for us. Let us, uh, let me repeat all these tools in the next slide again, I'm going to take up. Information communication technology tools, hardware. Your computer or desktop is one tool on one ICT tool, your LCD or DLP projectors, which you use for presentation, is a hardware and ICT tool. Your mobile, which you are using for today's meeting, can be a, a ICT tool. Your audio tools, Bluetooth devices, speakers and microphone can be one device, which can be used as an ICT tool. Your tablets, mobiles or tablets can be one ICT tool. Your TV touchscreen or smart television can also be an ICT tool. Now, I want to know from you which of the following hardware you have used. Kindly uh, give your opinion. This slide appears to you automatically uh, when I go to this slide. Only you have to uh, click which of the following hardware you have used for teaching. For teaching purposes, which hardware you have used. I have also given an option. You can also uh, cancel your opinion and you or you can use uh, make use of more than one opinion uh, while taking this. You may be using mobile, you may be using computer, LCD, DLP, audio tools, wide boards, interactive boards, tablet, touchscreen, TV touchscreen, or you may not be using anything at all, or you may be using mix of various devices also. Lot of options are there. Which device you have used? As I see till now, uh, LCD and DLP is the most used device by you. Uh, for teaching purposes. Computer, mobile, audio tools, whiteboard, interactive boards are also being used by you. So this is the general opinion. Your 100% uh, responses are divided into these five categories which are appearing to you. Let me go to next. Uh, I'm taking here that computer and LCD screen is uh, mostly used, uh, including your laptop you have been using mostly. Uh, let me give a brief idea about the softwares. Softwares which are available. Maybe some of the softwares you may be using or some of the softwares you are not using. We have been training uh, uh, the state resource persons of various states and uh, while discussing with them, 
I came across few software uh, software which I've listed here and based on my experience also. Internet uh, is internet and website, which is an important uh, tool uh, through which we can access various uh, so, uh, softwares. Cloud services where we store our information like uh, Google Cloud, uh, Google uh, uh, Drive is there, is there, Google Drive is there, uh, OneDrive is there. Yeah, Ayush Sharma would like to ask something. Ayush Sharma, you have raised your hand. Similarly, for school, Diksha is there, Scratch is there, GeoGebra is there. You can see lot many books, e-books, which are available in uh, Project Gutenberg. You can go to Ignos, e Kosh. There are many uh, self-learning materials available. All the universities are keeping their self-learning material in the public domain. You can make use of Moodle, YouTube. Most of us are making use of Wikipedia. Even the pro if project is given for students, they are making use. Instead of just uh, making use of Wikipedia, it is better to go uh, to the original sources which are indicated in the Wikipedia and cite them, not to cite Wikipedia alone. Most of us are using artificial intelligence tools like ChatGPT, BARD, Copilot. We at high school level, most of our teachers are using Khan Academy. Khan Academy is also a reservoir which hosts uh, many state syllabus as well as central syllabus uh, material, books. Firki is another uh, uh, app or a website which offers a variety of learning materials that learners can access anywhere at any time to learn at their own pace. Diksha is, uh, I've already written here Diksha, it is repeated Diksha for school education. I hope some of these tools you may be knowing, some of these things you can record so that in your personal uh, leisure time, you can learn. I want to know from you, which of the following software services you have used? I have listed few software services, among which, uh, which one you have used. You can give multiple uh, responses also. As a university teachers, I expect most of you might have used many Google Workspace, Microsoft 365, internet websites, other cloud services, Diksha, Scratch, GeoGebra, AI websites, ChatGPT, BARD, Copilot, eBooks, or Gutenberg, Project Gutenberg, Moodle, YouTube, Pirki, uh, Diksha, Wikipedia, Khan Academy. Is there anyone who has not used any of these uh, softwares? Maybe many more than this you might have used, but I think in today's digital era, there is no one who has not used any of these. But responses have come, plenty of responses. Most of you have been using Microsoft 365, it's uh, uh, good. And Google Workspace is also comp uh, competing with uh, other websites and internet sources. Let us go to next. Somebody's mic is on. Ayush, would you like to speak? Now your mic is on, Ayush. I am not able to send responses. You are not able to? Send responses. When I have given a link. So you are, you are not clearly no, audible. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, sir, what happens is when your question comes and when we try to answer, immediately it gives 
uh, full. So we are we don't get a time to click the option. Just I click I one option you. and it becomes full. That is what he is saying. The poll poll okay. is full. It comes. Okay. Okay. If uh, time permits, I will tell you the reason behind this also. Okay. I'll try to go as quickly as possible. We'll look at it. Please switch off your microphone. All of you, please switch off your microphone. Keep yourself muted. These are some of the mobile applications which are available with us. These are only few examples. Many more than this you are using, like meeting apps, Zoom, Google Meet, WebEx, etc. Social media. Uh, I am not explaining each of the application. Thinking that at this level you all have used everything. Social media communication apps like Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, etc. LinkedIn, and there are many finance-related apps like Phone Pay, Google Pay, Paytm. Okay, uh, educational apps like G Shala, E Part Shala. Okay, newspaper. and images like camera, photo, fix, fix lab, etc. We and artificial intelligence apps like AI picture. These are few of the apps, mobile apps. In next slide, quickly you can just uh, answer. Those who answer quickly, probably they will be able to respond. Okay, uh, I think that slide is missing. Uh, uh, once we come to that slide, I'll tell you. So what I want to uh, bring to your notice that earlier the teaching learning process was within the four walls of the classroom. Think about Kotari Commission. Kotari Commission says that teaching learning the destiny of nation is being shared in the four walls of the classroom, isn't it? But now the education is not restricted or limited to only the four walls of the classroom. It goes beyond that. Students, classroom instructions versus ICT-based education. What is happening is when you make use of ICT, you become in touch with friends, and you share your homework. This is beyond classroom. Your uh, homework is being shared through email, through WhatsApp, or any other media. You can talk to your relatives beyond your geographical boundaries. Maybe your relatives are staying in may, uh, different countries or different cities. Now you can talk to them, your ac child's academic developments using ICT. You can make use of a video call in the form of Google, Google Meet, or uh, Team, uh, Microsoft Team, etc. You can refer to educational materials. Earlier, education was limited only to textbook. Now, beyond textbook also, you can refer. Now, Earlier education was a particular age and stage education. A 12-year boy used to be in sixth standard. Now age and stage is not a matter. It is individualized learning. Now you look at a lady who is working in kitchen. She learns how to prepare biryani or how to prepare sambar. Is age a matter? Is time a matter? Is a stage a matter? No. ICT has enhanced the scope of uh, uh, scope of learning. It takes you, ICT takes you beyond the classroom. Questions for ICT use in education. ICT has got so much scope, but even then, I have got certain questions in my mind. My questions are. Disparity among haves and have-nots. 
everybody may not have mobile everybody is not a university professor or everybody is not a teacher or everybody uh, is not having access to the devices so there is a disparity this is one question which comes to my mind when we make all use of ict if at all we are having ict tool orientation gaps of uh, stakeholders parents may have smartphone but they do not know how to use it teachers may have ict tools but they do not know how to integrate into the classroom and if at all to if at all there is a tool the teachers are trained but we cannot monitor a learning gaps who is learning more who is learning less how to monitor the gaps then when the problems another question final question comes to my mind is is ict a short lived or is it going to live long so this is another question which comes to our mind ict can be used for evaluate evaluation also we can give gradings we can give us 